Um, okay, the the uh, I'm shamelessly plugging books tonight, but it's what you do, isn't it, when you get a book out? I, I used to be very um, embarrassed about mentioning that um, I had books for sale, and I found I was taking away just as many as I uh, as I was bringing. I mean, that 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 can still happen, of course, but at least um, if I tell you I have books and you're interested in the break, you can uh, come up and ask me about them. Um, this is the new collection, um, which is. Uh, soon going to a reprint um, and this is called Dylan Thomas Embers and Sparks and I'm sure um, most of you are well aware that it's the anniversary of Dylan Thomas's birth in Swansea uh, so I thought I'd read um, one or two from here this is a poem called Routine um, Lawn 1949 and it, uh, it documents a time or my interpretation of a time when uh, Dylan Thomas made, I think, his third uh, stay in Larne and, and, uh, and remained there. And, um, and it seemed to be a time just before everything finally started to go wrong uh, with his marriage, with the, with the debts really coming in, um, in which he seemed to have some kind of pattern to his life. Um, I suppose it's the place uh, most identified with him now, um, with the, uh, the boathouse there in, in Larne, just west of Swansea. And, the, um, and his writing shed, his favourite um, watering hole, Brown's Hotel, and the Pelican, the house across the roadway, housed his mother and father. And uh, this is called Routine. Not waking to the wall of his wife's back, he wakes instead to her risen absence, coughs twice, shakes the last dimp from the pack, scratches a match, lights up, Smokes his first since last night's last breath before sleeping. Rising, he reads the morning away, buttons up, climbs 41 steps, breathes hard, starts walking to his parents' house, reaches their door, raps. With no crosswords but the one they work on, he and his father, sorry, he and his father read the clues, fill in gaps in their relationship with pencil. Then Dylan crosses to Brown's for beer and gossip. At two, in the shed, warmed by anthracite and cat's love, he nags a poem's forming frame, takes an hour to take a comma out, another hour to put it in again. That evening, he shipwrecks in a warm tub, a rack of boiled sweets bridging his crotch, then supper and the cliff road to the pub under the herons and the cormorants watch. Not another sound on the darkening path, bar the odd cough and the scuff of his tread, but close behind him he detects the breath of a poem that trails him from the writing shed. Then, the kid's in bed, Kathleen follows on to Brown's, where he entertains and she mocks him, till, for better or worse, she and Dylan make it home, make tea, make love, or mayhem. Mm -hmm.